Hey guys, Deputy Lorenzo back here again. Um, in the last episode, we went over how to get around the island if you don't have any gas. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about what you do after you have gas. Um, a lot of people, the first thing they want to do is go ahead and go out and start mining some ore, some material. Um, that allows you to craft things like repair wrenches to fix your car. Um, jerry cans, always a good option to fill your car back up. Um, and even uh, crafting iron ingots into uh, pallets to make um, vehicle parts so you can make your own cars. So we're going to go over exactly how that process works in this episode. Um, I'm going to be jumping around a little bit so you get so you don't have to watch driving and all that stuff. You'll just get the, the straight points you need. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we're in the game now. What we're going to do, we're going to open up the map. Um, it's important that you start looking at your map and start learning all the different uh, points of interest. So a lot of you know that Silverton is kind of the main town down here. Then you have Stony Creek up in this area, etc. But what, right now, since we're mining, we're looking for a guy named Mining Mike. And we are here right now. It's, it's in Springfield, which is right below um, Elk City and Boulder City. So once you see Mining Mike, go ahead and shift click the map, put a little marker on there so you know where he is, and then you're gonna hop out. We're gonna lock our car. And we're gonna walk in and we're gonna talk to Mining Mike. Now you're gonna wanna bring about $1,500 with you. Um, the reason why is because you need to buy a pickaxe and a shovel. You can't see it because of the webcam, but this is a shop menu and you can buy a pickaxe and a shovel they're about $500 each. Um, you're gonna need that, and then you're gonna have to use your mouse wheel and scroll down, <clears throat> and you'll notice uh, there's iron, coal, aluminum, sulfur, and oil maps. Um, you can buy each of these maps, which allows you to see where resources are on the island. Um, you don't necessarily need this. You could find it without the map. Uh, this just kind of helps speed up the process. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna buy an iron map. Um, for new civilians, always start with iron and then progress to the next one. So progress to coal, and then lastly, progress to aluminum. Um, the reason why is because you need a lot of iron, a medium amount of coal to make steel, and then you need all three to make aluminum. So iron, you should always prioritize. Um, it can make things like steel, repair wrenches, jerry cans, things like that. So. We're gonna um we're gonna just hit our space button, and that buys an iron map, and then you're just gonna open up your uh, map again, and you'll notice there's now a pickaxe icon. You're gonna scroll in; it tells you iron in this area. So it looks like it's right above the farming fields. We're gonna put a little shift click so we know where it is, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we are back here. Um, we're gonna open up our map so I can show you. We drove all the way down here and now we are here. So um, what I like to do is, let's cross the street first. I like to find a nice flat area. So this looks pretty good. You want it to be somewhat lit. So I'm gonna come over here into the light. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna use your E muscle and the top option is prospect for resources. It's gonna bring up this menu and you're gonna prospect for iron uh, because iron is the map that we bought um, over on the left hand side you can't see it right now but there's some notifications popping up to tell me that iron is in the area and what will end up happening is you'll have this menu come up where you mark the location and it puts a flag down um, now generally speaking you want to do about 10 at a time about 10 flags the reason why Every time you hit it, it resets the time uh, for it to despawn, um, which is really nice. So you have enough time to do about 10 in a row. If you do more than that, chances are your flags are gonna start to despawn over a period of time. And that's just not helpful for anybody. Looks like we have some passers-by. Sometimes people will, um, if they see you mining, they'll actually stop and join you. So that's nice. So that's four. And just for the video, I'm gonna do a total of five so we keep it 
um, somewhat short. Um, but I'll show you the process. Typically, just remember, typically you want to do about 10. You can do a straight line or you could do um, five up and five down or any pattern that you want. All right, so this will be the fifth one. All right. Now, once you have your five flags up, you're going to use your I button to bring up your uh, physical inventory. You're going to grab your shovel and put it in your hand. Now, you're going to start at the first flag, because remember, we're trying to reset that timer. And you'll see an X. You can either go first person or third person, but if you'll see an X, you want to aim that at the base of the pole itself. What you'll notice is you'll start to see material come up from the ground. That is going to be your ore. And once you see it stop moving, And you'll also, um, you also get an alternate sound effect. That right there sounds a little different. That means that ore is completely dug up. So then you just move to the next flag. All right, and just like that. All right, so we are on our last flag here. We're gonna finish this last one up. And it looks like it's just about done. There we go. All right, now, uh, use your I button again. You're gonna open up your physical inventory. You're gonna drag your shovel back in, and this time around, you're gonna grab your pickaxe. Now that we have all the ores up, we need to pickaxe them down, so. That's the best way to remember it. You're going to start back at the first one. Again, aim your X at the base of the mark. And every two swings, you're going to uh, gain one ore. Um, so you get one iron every time you hit it twice. And it goes down a little bit. And you're just going to go all the way until it completely goes under the ground. You'll see it disappear in a second here. And we're going to do this for all five. All right, and that's disappeared, and I'll see you in a second. All right, and we are on our last one here. Um, now, sometimes you can get rare gemstones out of this process, too. Um, there is a gem store. I believe it's in Boulder City. I'll show you in a second on the map. Um, and you can sell those gems uh, to get you some, some nice extra cash while you're doing this. That'll help you get um, food and drink to, to keep, you know, sustaining yourself while you're doing some uh, some some mining. But now that we have all the material, let's go ahead and put our pickaxe away. We're going to use our E menu to open up our inventory. And now you can see we have 75 iron ore um, and we got a couple diamonds along the way. So pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do now is let's look at the map. I'll show you that gem store first which I believe is in Boulder City, yes. So here's Boulder City. You can go to the gem store and you can sell all those gems to the guy in there. That'll net you a few thousand dollars, um, which should be able to buy you some food and some, uh, some water. But for right now, what we're gonna do, we're here now, we're gonna drive over to the steel mill so I can show you what we do with all that ore we just got. See you in a sec. All right, guys, we are uh, pulling up to the steel mill now. So what we're going to do, there's, there's two different guys here. There's this guy over here. That's the oil factory. And then there's this guy over here, which is the steel factory. Now, I want you to pay attention. You see these trucks around us. They are uh, towing pallets. Well, this one here next to me is empty. And this one here is towing pallets. That's a good way to transport How's it going, bud? Ah, 
Not so good. Busy at work. Um, so he is transporting pallets. Looks like he's going to be building cars. This here is the steel factory. So now we have all this iron ore we just got, right? So we're going to take the 75 ore. We're going to put that number down here in the bottom. And we're going to put press this arrow to deposit it into the storage. Now the storage will stay even after resets. That's permanent. So you can hold all of your um, material and everything in the storage indefinitely, um, which is good. That way you can just do a little bit of mining at a time. It doesn't need to be so much of a chore and so much of a grind. Just do it when you're, you're out there having fun and before you know it, you'll have a ton of ore. Um, and then what you do up here is we're going to put uh, the number one back in the crafting thing. And you can see, okay, iron ingot for iron ore. Well, I have plenty of ore. I can make an iron ingot. So I just hit craft. And right there, it crafts the one iron ingot. Now, you can craft multiple at a time. Um, it's going to take more time to do that. But um, it's a good way to do it in bulk. And let's just go down the line here. So we have coal ingot which requires four coal ore then you have steel which requires both iron ingots what we just made as well as the coal ingots which we just looked at now the more uh, developed you get you're going to start to make uh, steel pallets aluminum pallets etc so in order to make a steel pallet you need 60 steel which you get right here um, so if you if we look at what Oh, the guy's gone. But what was on his truck was steel pallets. Um, you use those pallets to make car parts and then to make cars eventually. Um, I know it may seem like a lot, but I will give you from previous experience. Um, I was able to make a Dodge Ram in under a day worth of work. I would say probably a good four or five hours worth of work. Um, and it's fun. You get to meet people. Um, I always recommend for new players to, to get out there and say, you know, on Twitter, put out, you know, hey, I'm going mining. Um, does anyone want to join me? But um, you can make it, you can turn it into a fun experience. So I would recommend get out there, meet some people, have some fun, and I'll see you on the island.